preparing for the worst. An active shooter drill was held at Bel Air High School today to coordinate a response plan. Tracy Leong takes a closer look. The Bel Air Police Department and Volunteer Fire Company held a similar drill in 2016. This year, they added medical teams to evaluate their response as well. Practicing their tactical techniques in an active shooter simulation at Bel Air High School. Something that we need to address, something we need to practice um, and prepare for and to be ready. This interagency drill tested their readiness and ability to respond to a mass shooting at a school. The coordinated effort between the fire company, Bel Air Police Department, and allied police departments throughout the community that would be responding on this incident. Uh, what we tried to do was prepare. Hopefully, we will never have an incident. School shooting. Where? Where? Here, Great Mill High School. Sadly, these attacks have become all too common. In March, one student was killed and another injured when a gunman opened fire at Great Mills High School. The shooter then killed himself. First responders in Harford County want to make sure they're ready for this type of crisis. I think we've seen it in Parkland, we've seen it at Sandy Hook, we've seen it all over. Time is of the essence. So to make us more efficient, uh, to just streamline things, um, that's what we do. Built the incident management system as the incident dictated and it let us see our weaknesses, our strengths. From law enforcement eliminating the threat to testing the Upper Chesapeake Medical Center's operations, the drill highlights areas for improvement to create an effective response plan. Officers from Maryland State Police and Harford County Sheriff's Office also participated in this active shooter drill. I'm Tracy Leong reporting for WJZ. Last week, survivors from the Great Mills High School and Capitol Gazette shootings held a gun safety rally in Annapolis to demand change.